The anniversary year of the project is marked by a new important direction of its work, with one of the most relevant being the creation of a multi-volume fundamental publication catalogue of all archaeological sites in Uzbekistan, including a unified map of archaeological monuments. Ancient Horizon, archaeological sites of all termites, the ruins of the ancient city of Aksikent. This heritage has been studied by archaeologists and orientalists for so many years. Some monuments are explored every full season, others are preserved, however. There are also sites that have not yet been explored. Meanwhile, time is inexorable for them. The footage of the 30s and 40s of the last century preserves the work and research of the largest Horizon archaeological and ethnographic expedition of academician Sergei Tolstoy, who made many unique discoveries in the settlements of Yakabarsan and Khoikarilgan Kala. Unique artifacts from the grandiose settlements of ancient Horizon are stored in the Hermitage and State Historical Museum of Russia, the Louvre and the Metropolitan Museum. Ancient Buddhist sculptures and ceramics, the Dalvars in gold, are sensational finds of the Bactrian archaeological expedition, Karatepe, Toharistan and Uzbek Japanese complete scientific expedition. Extensive international contacts of Uzbek archaeologists and joint expeditions have made a huge contribution to the world science. Their research is known to the entire scientific world. International archaeological teams are currently operating in Uzbekistan, one of them being the Uzbek-French expedition. The artifacts discovered by this expedition are exhibited both in Lourdes and in the only museum of archaeology in Central Asia located in Termin. The project accumulates many studies of Uzbek archaeologists and, based on the existing scientific works, will publish a fundamental catalog of all ancient settlements in the region. Scientists of the World Society are also planning to publish a multi-volume catalog of architectural monuments of Uzbekistan, which will include a complete set of understanding structures. The historical sites of Uzbekistan have preserved hundreds of most diverse medieval architectural ensembles, madrasas and mosques, palaces and mausoleums built in the 9th century are silent testimonies to the incredibly spectacular rise of Islamic architecture. The smartest architects and craftsmen of Mawaraun Nahar did their best to create the image of the cities on the Great Silk Road. Architectural ensembles and complexes of Samarkand and Bukhara, Shahrisabz and Hiva had a significant impact on the architecture of the Near and Middle East. Illustrated volumes, each devoted to the architecture of a specific area, will include data on genesis, formation, and evolution of Muslim architecture. The project continues to work on the publication of 114 Qurans. This book album will include research both by prominent Quranic scholars and scientists researching for ancient Quran manuscripts dating back to the first centuries of Hijra. The stories of sacred manuscripts, which have always been a symbol of power, the world-famous Osman Quran, or as it is also called, the Samarkand Kufi Quran, from the Huja Ahrar Mosque, as well as the Quran from Katalangar, had been studied pretty thoroughly. However, despite numerous versions, there is no exact information as to where these unique manuscripts were kept before the 15th century. The new album, 114 Qurans, will also will include the sacred manuscript previously owned by the Salars, an ethnic group of Turkic origin who lived along the Yellow River of China. Salars were professional guides on the Great Silk Road. Today, this manuscript is kept in Hinhua city. At present, work has already been carried out to study the handwritten copies of the Qurans, which are kept in the manuscript collections of Europe, Russia and the United States. Many of the sacred manuscripts are written on thick, cream-colored Central Asian paper. Scientists continue their research and are not complete. There is still a lot of work to be done in the largest manuscript collections in Uzbekistan. The cultural legacy of Uzbekistan in World Collections project already has an extensive experience in making facsimiles of oriental handwritten masterpieces. There is an absolutely unique direction of the project 
Within the frame of our reach, the rarest manuscripts and miniatures have already been published together with the well-known Austrian publishing house Müller und Schindler. This year, the series will be replenished with the new facsimile album, which includes the classic of Uzbek literature. Abdul Rahman Jami, Ali Sher Nawai, Jalaladin Rumi, Badriddin Hilali, who was called the Little Jami for his unique poetic talent. The same album will also contain sheets of priceless scholarly works and treaties of Al Harazmi, Al Sufi, Abu Rehan Biruni, Avicenna, as well as miniatures made for the books by outstanding historians of the Timurid era, Sharafuddin Ali Yazdi and Mir Hunt. The project will continue its work on the productions of facsimiles of rare manuscripts and tomes created in this ancient land.